Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to an exclusive first look at the brand new monster, Nyla the Reverence. Alright, this is really cool because this monster is actually available completely free to play in the PvP, uh, what is it, season. So all you gotta do is battle throughout the month, you'll accumulate cells for this monster, you'll be able to rank her up. This is, was actually designed by a Monster Legends community player, so that's very cool. I was gonna say a member of the community, but yeah. Basically, SP had a contest a few months ago, it feels like now, and this is the monster that won. So, let's go ahead and hash this monster. Let's see if it's any good. We already did a sneak peek and we saw the skill set. I wasn't a fan. Uh, lots of Barbatos inspired skills where you basically end up taking away your own life, but we will see. Alright, let's hatch the monster and let's check her out. Yes, we will pay huge. Whoa! Scary face. <laughs> Looks like a bumblebee. <laughs> Scary face. This is, by the way, another like polymerization monster. It's a combination of uh, Nishant, no not Nishant, um, Niz Nazael and Zyla. Alright, huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provide the monster, all the cells needed to take it to rank 5, any gems I use will be reimbursed, and they also provide the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150, and there goes Nyla. When I first saw this monster, I thought it looked like Raven from Teen Titans, but kind of like inverse in terms of the clothing. I don't know, you guys let me know if you also think that. Uh, but with that being said, Nyla wasn't easy to create. First, Nishant had to track down Xyla the Faithful, defeat her, and steal cells from her. Then, Dr. Victor had to recycle a monster that was already recycled material, Nazael. Thanks to the cells of those two monsters, Nyla the Reverend came to life. Her ultimate attack, Purgatory Devastation, deals very heavy thunder damage to enemies, disables traits on all targets, applies mega stun and shock to all enemies. Her trait, she has Hardened, that will upgrade to a tough, and that will upgrade to a Bulwark at rank 3. Alright, so 50% of the time you do not get hit with any negative effects. You have a cooldown immunity, and you also have Anticipation. However, it's just a status caster, so it can get cleansed away. If this monster would have permanently kept the Anticipation, I think we could have been singing a different tune for her. But yeah, I, I don't know if SP changed the skills or not, I doubt it, we're gonna check right now. But first, let's compare her stats to the other monsters in the game. Alright, so we start things off with a life stat, and as you can see, this monster is incredibly squishy. Lowest life stat for the Blossom Mythics, 130,291. As you can see, this handful of monsters all share that same low life stat. In terms of her power stat, however, she does make up for it because she has 10,824, which actually, I mentioned this in another video, this is like the mode. Most monsters appear to have that power stat. It's higher than the average, but yeah, most monsters tend to have that. At least from the Blossom era. And then when we take a look at speed stat, ooh, she's also on the slower end, 7,920. Slightly below average, this appears to be another handful of monsters that have this speed stat. So, honestly, it doesn't seem that impressive. This is an ET monster though, so let's take a look at her skills. Faithful Warrior deals moderate thunder damage to one enemy, 30 stamina, zero cooldown. Invisible Spirit removes 10% of total life from all enemies. 30 stamina, zero cooldown, so you can use this even if you got hit with CDA. 10% is not a lot. It's very little, even against a Megatop monster, it's only 30. There's single skills that monsters do that do 30 in one attack, or even 50. So not that great of a skill. No Pain applies cooldown protection to itself. Once you're in cooldown, your cooldown immunity lasts for 3 turn. Dark Magic removes 30% of total life from one enemy and applies bleed to itself. So... Again, better than Invisible Spirits, it does have a 2-turn cooldown, a higher stamina cost, and you also will bleed yourself, which will take away your HP, right, it's damage over time, and it also reduces your damage output by 20%, why would you want to do that? Not that great. Necromatic Chains deals moderate thunder damage to an enemy, applies shock to an enemy, gives an extra turn, and removes 10% of total life from itself. So the good thing is, you do shock the enemy, you prevent ET from the enemy, but you, sh but you remove 10% of your life, so you gotta be careful with that, and it has a hefty... 4 churn cooldown. Alright, Plague Chains deals moderate direct damage to an enemy, applies bleed to an enemy, gives 1 extra turn, and removes 10%. So that's 20%, and a 3 churn cooldown. Alright, Fast Chains deals low thunder damage to an enemy, gives 1 extra turn, and removes 5% of total life from itself. So the good thing is, this is not a lot. 5% is honestly whatever, but it's such a weak attack. 2 churn cooldown? Oh my gosh. Alright, Nezel Soldiers removes negative effects and positive effects from itself, so any buffs are going to be gone. And you apply cooldown protection and you give yourself anticipation. I will say, this could be useful because if you do face a Dark Vault, if you do face um, a Shadow, anyone that has 
any sort of ET skill. Having dissipation will prevent the enemy from doing it, so that could definitely be useful. Uh, Black Chaos, heavy dark damage applies bleed, one turn cooldown, without having to sabotage yourself and hurt yourself. Uh, this deals a nice amount of damage. Wings of Death deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies bleed to all enemies, and you lose 15% of total life per enemy she hits. If you hit all three monsters, you are losing 45% of your HP. If you hit two monsters, you're losing 30% of your HP just for a moderate dark AoE. Not a fan. Shining Fate, heavy thunder damage, applies shock. One turn cooldown, or yeah, one turn cooldown, you shock the enemy. So you have two strong singles that don't require you to drain any of your HP. Chains of Path deals moderate thunder damage to all enemies, apply shock, and you lose 15%. So it goes without saying, I'm not a fan of the AoEs. I'm not. I don't think you should run them. Um, I think your Black Chaos is worth running. And I think possibly your extra turn skills are worth running. Shocking the enemy, bleeding the enemy. Um, it could be useful. You, you might be able to do like, I think if you do Fast Chains and then Plague Chains and then Necromatic Chains, you would cycle back into Fast Chains. And then you can end with the attack. You could do that. It does cost you quite a bit of HP, so you got to be careful with that. Um, the stamina is also relatively high, so that's something to watch out for. Um, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of the monster. I, I feel like, I don't know, it. she doesn't deal enough damage for it. Yeah, um, the, the one advantage of her though is, I talked about this, I think in a different video. After damaging with the skill of the worst life is below 25%, you gain an extra turn. You could maybe utilize the fact that you take away percentage of your HP to utilize the hair talent, that's a possibility. And look, after damaging with the skill of the worst stamina is below 50, you even recover stamina. So that might be something that you could potentially use with this monster. Um, of course, you can use some of the other powerful attack talents. Uh, Nation Spiral gives you a photophobic shield. Uh, this one to apply ignite on top of the bleed and shock you can give the enemy. Uh, there's one that removes the taunts or mega taunts from the enemy, so that could be useful. The bull. So you have quite a bit of things you can utilize. Um, we're going to try the hair, though, just because I'm curious about it. I've, one of the first talents that came out, never ever used it, though. Uh, we are going to go with Mr. Beast Banner to help with stamina. And I think this is good for a cane sword to help with HP recovery. Um, so we'll, we'll play that carefully. But I think I'm going to do... I'll do Chains. Black Chaos. And then, do I want the weak one? Do I want the two turn cooldown one or the three turn cooldown one? Do I want all of them? Fast Chains. I'll try it. Um, I really do like the Anticipation skill. Again, because... If, if you face a Voltic, the fact that you can like stump him or an Uriel stop him from rezzing, that's useful. But we're going to try to cycle as much as we can and we'll see how well it works out. Um, and we're going to go like the typical attacker setup. So two strength and a speed rune and we'll see how well Nyla works out. Since she's a PvP monster, you are going to be able to get this mo monster relatively ranked up. Let's give her some extra stamina there. And maybe we should give her an 8 stamina. I don't have one. Okay. Um, we'll just give her strength. So two strength speed, and I think we're ready to go. She's only rank three, so she doesn't have her anticipation status caster. Um, so yeah, yeah, we'll we'll do some battles at rank five, and she might be better off then. All right, so let's try her out. For those of you new to the channel, I will not be winning the battles. I am going to be exiting out. It looks like I'm going to win the battle. It would be unfair to win with a monster that was given to me by SP for the sole purpose of an exclusive first look. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do. Um, I think I am going to do Blessing. Um, the question is, Sunburn, see? If you start off with a dot and stuff like that, maybe I'll get hit with a Quicksand. No, Soul Drag. It, it makes it tough because it's like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know what the best course of action is. The Sunburn is going to eat away at my HP. Not to mention my own skills eat away at my HP. So you got to play this very, very carefully. Um, Ruchal's Armor, Pangol's Amulet. Yeah, you got to play this carefully. I'm probably going to get hit with the curse as well. So that's another bad thing. Um, but let's do this regardless. Nimbus, yeah, see, I got hit with the curse. So got to play this very, very carefully. All right, ooh, that dealt a nice amount of damage. Um, so we'll do Plague Chains. There's that. Honestly, we're just going to kill you. All right, Soul Drag, 10k, Sigil, Griffin. Let's see if I can reapply MT. Lava, Saliva, oh. Did I get rid of it? Oh, shoot. Darn it. I got rid of my MT. All right. Hopefully. Nope. Darn it. 
Okay, we'll try again. Let me give him back his MT skill, even though uh, we took on Cherub Cupid, who has Pierce, so it wouldn't even matter. All right, feed, skills, change. Let's put back the blessing skill. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's click fight. Yeah, as much as like, because see, the, for the hair to activate, you got to be below 25%. It's <sighs> just making it work is difficult. All right. And again, I'm sunburned. That cherub cupid. I think I'm going to do, I think I'll take the hit and I'll do blessing here. And I will get rid of your traits. And that way we can kill Cherub. All right, so let's see. Chaos, ooh, powerful, powerful. All right, Dark Passenger. I will do, let me see what they have. Mask, Uriel, Curse of Despair, Sigil Staff. Okay, cool. Um, 124, 106, 17. You know what, I think we will be killing over here. So there's a Shock. There's a Fast Chains. And again, with two turn cooldown, three turn cooldown, with Sigil, it makes it so worth it because thank you for having Sigil, I can reuse all my skills. So it's a, it's a way to cheat, right? Like I can save fast chains for Uriel, but let's attack you. And then we'll do the four turn, my gosh, that's crazy. Three turn cooldown, four turn cooldown. I could use fast chains again, and yeah, that would, that would let me use Black Chaos and end with that. But again, thanks to Sigil, I'm able to reuse stuff. So that's the advantage there. Uh, let's see if I can activate the hair. Did it activate? I don't think so, right? After damaging the worst stamina. Oh, that one activated, but we're still trying to activate the other effect. All right, let's go fast chains. That's 5% of my HP down. That's 10 more percent down. Cane sword kind of works against me because it's healing me, but that's good because then I can wait for the hair to activate later. All right, and then we can finish you off, but let's attack over here. Give you some dots. Um, we'll just do Blessing. We know he's going to come back and kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have just gone for him. All right, cool. Let's try again. Um, we're going to get rid of... <sighs> I don't know if it's a good idea to get rid of Cane Sword. Yeah, maybe I, I ignore the hair, but 